Um, da, da, dee, 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 dee. La, dee, dee. Hey, good morning to you. How's it? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. My name is Andy Bumatai, and I will be your chat host. Yes, this is a chat show, so welcome. How's it? Yeah, we let uh, uh, some of the people come over from the OG Sumo Vibe side. Uh, that's where we do our pre-party. Yeah, for We start about 5 o'clock in the morning over there. If you want to know what time it is in Hawaii, that's the clock back there. Check it out. And um, what do you say? Oh, hey, love Pat Pat. Oh, came over early from the OG Sumo Vibe side. Normally, he raids us with all the people that are over there, many of which are Hamajang Gang. That's what we call the people in the chat here, Hamajang Gang. And Puppy Cheney is a big part of that. How's it, Puppy Cheney? Ah, good to see you here this morning. Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna. I always forget to do the soft opening right at the top of the show. So uh, you know, when people watch it in the rerun, they're going, "What's going on?" So let's give them some indication. What do you say, Cruz and Corgi and Tina Rose? Here we go. So I don't forget. <laughs> Good morning, Thomas the Turtle. How's it? Hammer Jang Gang is the way we keep it real. Brendan in the house. Put aside our differences. Aloha is what we feel. If all the people of the world could join us, then they'll see. Maybe they can finally find peace in How's it, Carl? Aloha kakahiaka. There we go, gang. Yeah, officially started the show. And uh, sometimes I forget to do that. Around a uh, quarter after, then we have another opening because for the first... First 15 minutes, we see if there are any uh, tech menehunis rearing their mischievous heads. Pokoleti, mahalo for renewing your subscription. We appreciate that. And Rick S. in the house. How's it? Goof morning to you, my brother. There we go. I don't believe it. Kenny in Kie. Kenny Roberts. How'd it go last night, huh? Did you work last night? I, f I can't remember if you work Mondays. You're always changing, huh? I figured because of the rain, maybe they rescheduled. Whatever. Kenny, uh, Kenny in Kihei, that's Kenny Roberts. He works at Beach Bums in Maalaya on Maui, if you want to go check that out. Live music. Support it. Okay? Everybody goes, oh, I love, you know, you know, uh, you know, those uh, voice shows and all those different shows. Because I love music. Well, go to a small cu club and, you know, support somebody out there grinding it out. I know. Okay, get off my soapbox. Hey, how's it, Michelle? Coming over on the raid. There's Wild Willie coming over from the OG sumo side. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, good rainy morning. Oh, is it raining? Quality? Oh, dang. And Joyce Lynn, how's it? Rick Iwamoto. We got our Ricks are building up over here. Ah, look at that. And hey, Taz Devil, come on in. How are you, Taz Devil? Huh? Ah, cool. Aloha, my avatar crush. Yeah, me and OG Sumo uh, vibe fighting over her. I don't know. You know, I'm like, I don't like make the kind of odd bar behind a cafeteria. Huh? But <clears throat> I don't think it'll come to that. <laughs> hey, thank you, Aloha Mish, for hosting the show. That means that on Twitch, that when people go to Aloha Mish's site, they see this show being broadcast, and it's better for her 
than a static picture, and it's better for me because maybe people might see that. Huh? Hey, there's the man himself. Oh, gee, sumo vibe. Mahalo once again, brother. I was there from before five listening to your hot jams, and every time I go to leave, you play a song, I'm like, ah, today was Jackson 5. I loved how you said, looks like they're having so much fun. Doesn't it? I know, you're kind of jealous. Wow, okay. I think I said, how's it to brother Bruce? But let's make sure. Spam Musubi, a.k.a. Musubi. I know. <laughs> Larry, uh, Lady uh, Murasaki. How's it? Good morning to you, uh, Lady Murasaki. Appreciate you having, uh, having, having here. <laughs> Being here, the mouth will soon be open. Again, it's only uh, four minutes after 6 o'clock a.m. here in Mililani, Hawaii. So we'll take it from there. Cheesy for Sheezy is now hosting the show. <laughs> Thanks, hey, you. I know, I appreciate that. <laughs> and there's Wild Willie saying, how's it to Puppy Cheney? Sending him emotes and a goof morning. I know. Green Man Bakchu, A and E, and Hammer Jane Gang. How's it? Vicky Asato. Aloha, Vicky. Always so nice to see you here. Okay, let's see. Who? What is this? SD Dodger. What? What kind of rating is that? Hmm? I don't know. I'm seeing symbols there. Don't know what you mean, but hey, the raid comes every morning from OG Sumo Vibe. I know, he does the, the pre-pigeon show <laughs> over there on his side. If you're not following OG Sumo Vibe, please do. He doesn't just do that morning uh, pre-party for the uh, Daily Pigeon Live. He does uh, Love Lounge and, and, you know, and the old school uh, Hawaiian stuff and then the Jawaiian, all kinds. Please give OG Sumo Vibe. A, um, a follow okay you guys if you're not uh, if you're not uh, familiar with with uh, with the man there he is right there uh oh watch out you heard me talk about behind the cafeteria I know <laughs> see what you started cool aloha oh god fun it I know Whew. hey see Honda aloha great to have you here we're about to start the day I know six after I know. You know what? We always go a little long. Maybe we should start every move everything up just a little bit. Looks like everybody's here. Huh? Kenny, hey, holo le boy, holy boy. How's it, Andy and I? Uh, kill, Andy, I killed it last night. Rain or shine, we rip them. Ke aloha, <laughs> rip them. Ke aloha. Oh, I never hear that one. Long time. Rip your shots. No shame, but I go for broke. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, you know what? Sometimes that works out well because people are looking for, you know, someplace to hang out, you know? Boom. What better place than beach bums watching Kenny Roberts? Yeah, I know. I think we played a couple of your songs yesterday, too. We did the, uh, you know, the, yeah, the, well, you, you, yeah, you were here. What am I saying? I saw it, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And, you know... I wish I had a dime, or maybe I do, for every time uh, someone um, requests hard shot. I know. Hey, goof morning, Andy. Aloha, chat. Wishing everyone a great Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday, huh? <clears throat> uh, Layla, it's, it's Tuesday. Oh, by the way, I, I looked at the thing. Today is 266 days in a row we have done this show. Um, that means in 99 days, we will have done one year straight. 99 years is a long, I mean, 99 days is a long time. That's three months, right? So we'll see, but been going by fast. I say chakalaka. Yeah, I enjoyed reading your posts. Well, uh, you know, when I was lurking on the OG Sumo Vibe side, I know, always so insightful. Oh, no, not that. Someone who thinks before they type. Oh, you're going to ruin the internet, chakalaka, gone fun it. Yes. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, looks like everybody's here. Oh, Kehaulani, he going to be K today. 
K is when people are lurking, for anyone who is lurking and doesn't and goes, what is the K? Yeah, what that is is, uh, you know, when you, uh, you ever send someone a long text, right, and they send you back K. Well, we went and embraced that, and we asked anyone lurking, no shame, just hit the K, boom, post that bugger so we know you are all right. We call it the wellness check. We like know you, okay, catch? That's all right there. Okay, I'm racing to the bottom of the chat. If I miss your post, they call them I. So sorry. Oh, Cindy Krause, I felt the warmth from your house. There it is right there. Cindy Krause from her warm house. Yeah, how many know where that came from? <laughs> Funny how things evolve here on the Daily Pigeon Live. With a Hammer Jang gang, we get our own inside jokes. I know. You know, and it's funny because sometimes the lurkers, they don't want to say anything because they, they look like, oh, this is like a family party. Oh, I'm not going to be welcome. Hey, if you're lurking, try to say, I'm new. Watch what happens. Oh, you're going to get some mean kind of aloha. Hey, yes, you did play uh, my old volleyball stomping grounds mini movie on after. Yeah. <laughs> after we would get ready for, for go Bobby McGee's. Oh, man. A flash from the past. Oh, yeah, go beach all day. Bobby McGee's at night. Ah, those were the days, eh, bro? Ah. <laughs> yeah, you're making me feel, feel uh, nostalgic. Hey, how's it, Soda? I need to act more Canadian. <laughs> what are you going to do? Be more polite? <laughs> this is vanilla Coke Pepsi. Uh, we call them Soda because it's cheaper than, I mean, you know, keystrokes wise than when people want to talk to them, you know? Hey, Sora! They know who we're talking about. I know, okay. Let's see, racing to the bottom of the chat, see uh, how we doing on time. Oh, 6.10, Bobby McGee's, you remember that, eh, Wild Willie? Whoo, man, watch out. Oh yeah, I hope you never run into Kenny when you was there. Oh, that bugger was volleyball man. Oh, I know. <laughs> Kenny, oh, oh, oops, sorry. Oh, Kenny, you killed 10 on a rainy day. Good for you. Oh, you killed it on a rainy day. Yeah. It's hard to get people into a club on a rainy day, but evidently, when the quality is there, I know. Hey, how's it, Victoria? Goof morning, Andy and gang working but listening. Okay, mahalo for the wellness check. I hope you and your birds and John, everybody okay. Okay? Yeah, there we go. Let's see here now. I am, hey, I reached the bottom of that check. Oh my goodness, spam. Remember point after? Well, are you kidding? Me and Lee Afubai. He was my man back then. You remember those days? Uh, yeah, whew, point after. <laughs> uh, I need to chug a, a Mickey. What is this? Of maple syrup and go to the rink for, with buds and maybe. I know. I guess those are Canadian references. I'm sorry, a soda. I'm a catch. <laughs> I mean, I get the maple and I, you know. But for for you know for for Americans, you got to add the a. And then they think it's uh, Canadian, which is really not true. It's like when Canadians tease Americans and the way we speak, they add uh a lot. <laughs> hey, photo look, how you? Speaking of someone who never says uh on his walks around Waikiki. Yeah, I was uh, checking you out the other day. That was good fun. When you went to those, those that, that shave ice that was like 20 bucks. You know, you were grinding them, I was like, 20 bucks? You And you said, yeah, it's pricey, but it's good. And it was big with plenty, um, you know. Uh, Photo Luke Hawaii is on, of course, YouTube, and he just started a Twitch channel, right? And he walks around and gives, you know, and goes into little stores. Go give Photo Luke Hawaii if you want a street view of what's going on in Hawaii. Plus, he play Hawaiian music from some of the shows, and uh, I love the surfing video. He does these things where he just, you know, locks the camera off and watches regular people uh, just surfing in Waikiki. Oh, refreshing 
especially for those snowbound or shoveling um, lately, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we add y'all and uh when we talk about Americans. Yeah, well, not all, not all Americans say y'all, but plenty say uh. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, Shakalaka says, hey, Soda, we got a gallon of, of, the, of the stuff one time, and it lasted us for years, but now who cannot get Habut. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Shakalaka is Habut because she cannot get maple syrup. Oh, I know you like the maple syrup, but no more now. Oh, that's okay. We soon will have access. Yeah, ah, I know. Yeah, I say y'all, I feel seen. <laughs> I feel seen. Oh man, I love that, so poetic. I feel seen. Oh, okay, let's see. Hey, right on the nose, 614 here in Hawaii. Oh, and look, yeah, you like to see the dolphin. Okay, there you go, there's the dolphin for Aloha Mish. Uh, Aloha Mish makes these, a lot of these graphics we do here, you know. In fact, if you, uh, I think that still works if you type Habut, you know. But uh, anyway, there we go. Releasing the dolphins for Aloha Mish. My ex-wife from Canada in Alberta, eh, is almost every other word. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, we, we always buy maple syrup. Sometimes we drink it straight. Really? Wow. Drink it straight. I like mine over ice, shaken, not stirred. But that's just me, you know. It's an American thing. I am so sorry, Soto. Ooh, koala! Uh-oh, look at it there. There we go. Okay. Ah, cool. Oh, hey, look. Braga flirting again. Oh, I'm getting all jealous now. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, watch out. And never mind bust out the George Michaels, you bugger. That's, that's unfair. Yeah, he dedicated a song to Kualoha on his channel. He played George Michaels. Black and white one, that real, I know. Oh, how can I compete? Oh, man. Ooh, what is this? Aloha Mish. Hey, Soda. It's maple syrup drink. Is it a maple syrup drink or actually thick maple syrup? I got that he's drinking the thick actual maple syrup. I don't know. Oh, let's see. We like the really dark syrup so we can use it to make other things get lots of maple syrup flavor, less sugar. Oh, that's a good, that's an interesting um, bit of information if you want maple syrup. Okay, guys, I tell you what, welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. this sd dodger oh was it Car no it wasn't careless whisper was one not a one i know oh, I, I, I don't even want to mention it huh? Cause, you know oh 
Yeah, I know. I'm going to avert my eyes right now. Okay. All right, gang. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. How's it? Uh, my name is Andy Bumatai, and I will be your chat moderator. You know, I don't know, bus driver, JPO, <laughs> hall monitor, whatever. And uh, we, we, we play small kind of videos. We call them the Manini movies where we maybe drive through um, different places in in Hawaii, if sometimes, you know. And so if you are new here, you know, just say, hey, I'm new, and then post where your old stomping grounds used to be in Hawaii, and maybe we have a little drive through that neighborhood for you, okay? Oh, I know. So let's do the first poll of the day, Gangi. And that question is, and by the way, these are conversation conversation starters and meant to just kind of, you know, give us something to tee off on here on the Daily Pigeon Live chat show, right? So have you ever drank actual moonshine? You know, everybody talks about moonshine. Have you ever actually drank the real thing? I know. Let's go to the top of the chat. I got a feeling this is going to go crazy. Look at this. People, who? yes, no, already going. Oh, I'm see, uh, yes is in uh, six. No, just jumped into first place. We'll let that sit for a little while. I got a feeling we're going to hear some moonshine stories. I tasted it. I didn't, I didn't even want to drink it after I did. It's full on mason jars, you know. Whoa, that bugger would take, you know, the kind of um, paint off the table if you spilled it. I was like, people drink this? Amazing. I know. Oh, uh, legally, I cannot answer this uh, section. If you are undercover cop, please come out so I can see... Uh, <laughs> we know you're underage, but, you know, I know people your age never drink alcohol. And uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, too. I have drank moonshine. Love, Pat. Pat, please. Dang, I want to hear from those that made it. I know. <laughs> right there, look. Two people already have said they have actually made moonshine. Whoo. Boo, bro, Halifax, Virginia. Hey, holy boy, 662. Uh, who's this? Is that different than Brendan? Because we look, we get holy boy. Uh-oh. I hope somebody not trying, you know what? Okay. Over here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we get two holy boys. Oh, no. What's up? Hey. Love, Pat, Pat. I'm going to start the show off tomorrow with the... The Girl Is Mine by uh, Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. Hey! Oh, see? Just, just be careful who you dedicate them to. <laughs> the rule is not make or drink. The rule is sell unsolicited, unlicensed products. <clears throat> I like the name Moonshine, yeah. Well, Moonshine was, you know, that's... In fact, if it wasn't for Moonshine, we wouldn't have NASCAR. Anybody know the relationship between NASCAR and Moonshine? Hmm? I'll bet you somebody does. Hey, Nalulolo, I had an uncle in the South who made it. He would hide it in bottles around his yard. My aunt would follow him around at night and empty the bottles after she saw where he hid them. What? <laughs> then he had to go to the store and buy Jim Beam, which seemed like Kool-Aid after moonshine. I'm a lightweight, so I don't think I could handle it. I don't drink either. Well, I have, I did my drinking, I promise you that, but even then, moonshine was like, what? It's like drinking turpentine, you know? <clears throat> I guess there's good ones and bad ones and, you know, but the people who made it, oh, there goes Tina again. You compete with Taz and Manny. Oh, what, what, what did we did we miss a Tina? Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I did. Tom Cruise is making a movie about distilling moonshine during the Prohibition. It's called Whiskey Business. <laughs> Oh, mahalo for reminding me that uh, oh, Tina is at it again. Oh, 
She was only a lowly moonshine maker, but he loved her still. <laughs> oh, moonshine. Cool. You tried drinking gasoline. Uh, I don't know. There's people that swear by it, you know. Yeah. I would, uh, there was some, uh, you know, there were some hunters on the mainland that I knew, uh, my friend uh, over there, and, and phew, they said, oh, yeah, got to take a little of that when you go uh, chase raccoons with the dogs. Uh, hunting in Virginia came across a still. Guys gave and wished me well. Guys gave me some and wished me well. Oh, see, hunters. Moonshine, starting to see the Synergy gang. I know. I have some 100-proof stuff from Tennessee, unaged corn whiskey. Is that the same as Moonshine, uh, Green Man? I don't know. Is that, is that uh, I, I, th I, I see um, Moonshine in, in the mason jars, and it's clear, you know? It doesn't look like whiskey that doesn't have that whiskey color, you know what I'm saying? Some would say winemakers around here might have side hustle in moonshine. Is that correct? Side hustle. Wow, I don't know. OG Sumo Vibe, you are. Wow, Andy got to step up his, his what is that, a, <laughs> a controller? Uh, I don't know what that means, but... Kind of funny. Dan Lozano. Hey, how's it, gang? On my lunch break. Oh, thanks for watching, Dan, when you can. And mahalo for your uh, posts on the reruns. I see them. Yeah. I don't answer them all because get kind of plenty now. So I just kind of lurk. But I see who's there. And, you know, a lot of times I have to clean out. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if you're, you guys go to the reruns and you see the people posting the, hi, I'm lonely, click this link, you know, and I'm like, what? I know, and we know what those are, so I clean them out as best I can, you know. <clears throat> okay. Yes, the original NASCAR-type cars were built to be bootleggers, to be faster than the cops. Ding, 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 and wins. Nancy Nakamura, mahalo for the 200 biddies. Thank you so much. Wow. There we go. Look at that. Yes, uh, that's where it was, Ann, and they kept doing it, kept doing it, and then pretty soon they were, uh, you know. I remember when I worked for um, uh, this um, Kona Deep Water Company, they, uh, they had a small sponsorship in, um, you know, in Formula One, Right. So I went to the Formula One races as a representative to the company and, you know, and pfft, man, and you wouldn't believe how many people go, you know, Formula One, NASCAR is America's race, you know. But I guess they uh, they change the rules a lot. And I like NASCAR. <laughs> it looks like cars you could buy. I think that was the original intent, too, wasn't it? You know, unfortunately, illegal to distill any alcohol unfair because can make your own wine and beer habut well isn't wine or beer alcohol i mean I, I, i'm a catch wow yeah, uncle and <clears throat> it's only like drinking turpentine for the first shot after that it's smooth well, that's because your whole mouth and body and mind are numb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's that joke? Guy's hitting himself in a hammer and he goes, what are you doing? I, it, doesn't that hurt? Oh, yeah, it hurts, but oh, it feels so good when I stop. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Oh, okay. Andy wins. What? What happened? What did I win? I gotta go back and look like it. Yeah, they souped up cars to outrun police. Holly boy, yes. I'm trying to find it, would definitely. Uh, can't go back too far if I do. The chat, which moves quick, lock a swift. Oh no, I'm a boat. This who made me a boat. Oh, I know, I was sad there for a little while. I know. 
<laughs> when you do the habut baby, when it when it comes back to me, I'm all, I'm always a little disappointed. <laughs> I don't know why. Tennessee peach moonshine with the peach in the jar. After we drank the shine, we would eat the peach. It was like the worm in the tequila. We um we was all blind the evening in Lower Pearl City. Wow. You know why the worm is in the tequila? Anybody know? Why is the worm in the bottom of the tequila, you know? Somebody post because I know someone here knows. I make my own whiskey. I get 190 proof age in barrels. Then after six months, cut it with spring water and bottle it. Yeah, Brendan, but tell me you don't save some of the 190 for the hardcore brothers huh? and sisters, I would imagine. Yeah, Andy, step up your game. <gasps> oh, what's going on? I don't know. I feel left out. I don't know what this chat is about. I went avert my eyes, I think. We're aging some corn squeezings in a barrel now. Corn squeezings. Boy, that sounds dangerous, huh? Okay. Have you ever drank actual moonshine? 53% of the people, no. 42%, yes. And 5%, that's two people in this uh, poll, on poll, I've made it. Okay, so let's add that up. What do we got? Uh, 30, uh, 41, 40, 40, 43 people. So there's 69 people in the chat, 43 uh, participated and well, most people have not yeah okay there you go oh you need a fast car so you can outrun police during prohibition that's what it was NASCAR yeah okay oh let's see I'm trying to get to the bottom of the chat before we play the first uh, oh I was in uh, rolling Oh, roofing the Packers. Boo, doo, doo. Oh, man, you guys going for it here today. The volume, um, the volume percentage of one shot of moonshine is like drinking 10 Primo beers. Tiny bubbles. Oh, like that. Okay, here we go. The green man. The worm in the bottom was a marketing strategy. Google said so. No, I heard that the war worm... <clears throat> They would throw a worm in the bottom and the impurities from the tequila would would um, be absorbed into the worm. That's why eating the worm was so evil, right? That's what I heard, but you know, I'm not gonna fight with Google if they think it's just a marketing strategy, you know? There are some drinks that have like a scorpion or something in there, I know. Ah, okay. All right, gang, uh, let's play the first video. Uh, this is one I put together. Let's take a little ride through a Wilhelmina Rise. We uh, debuted this on the 3.30 show yesterday. Here we go.
Stoop Doot Four for the pities. Sorry though, don't know what to do. Yeah, I know. Chuckle. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw that uh, Canadian road rage video on YouTube. Have you seen that? <laughs> Where the guys go, whoa, and the guys pull over and they go, hey, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't. Was that my fault? No, no, that was my fault. Hey, you know, hey, no, no, I think it was my, if my I was about to, to, to change, but no, no, it's my fault, please. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Canadian road rage, I know. I had a comedian friend who used to call Canada the sitcom version of America. Oh, too funny. Man, I need a new keyboard. Hey, they're, they're much cheaper now. You go to check it out. I go with the wireless, you know, way better. I know, oh. Oh, look at this chakalaka. So that's why my meeting with the Canadian boss takes so long. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, let's see. But our local IT manager guy is from Canada, and all he has left of, and it's all he has left of his accent. Yeah, I know. I, it, I, I can't really tell when someone's from uh, um, Canada unless they say about or out. They say uh, out, out. Yeah. Or maybe we say it wrong. Who knows? Uh, it's a newer Canadian road rage. Oh, there's a newer Canadian road rage video where a car at a stoplight has snow on its back window and a guy goes up and brushes it off and goes back to his car. <laughs> Perfect. Oot, a boot, a boot. Yeah, there we go. Oot, a boot. That's it right there. Okay, let's go to the next poll, Gangi, and this one is, has anyone ever thrown you a surprise birthday party? Oh, oh, have you been thrown a surprise birthday party? And again, these are conversation starters at the top of the chat, and tell us about it, please, if you ever have. I can't remember ever being thrown a surprise birthday party. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. Don't know, maybe I have, but I don't think so. It, it was, no, as a kid, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> no, because I live in a house of eight and one of them has to snitch. Oh, oh sorry, a snitch. A house of nine. Yeah, we were going to call you out on that. Yeah, because big difference. You know, your mom, uh, excuse me, who exactly are you leaving out? I don't like say. Oh, <laughs> all about. I know I got left out. Oh, no. Oh, my 50th. Really? Oh, there you go. 50. That's a, that's a mean one. You're trying to forget it and all of a sudden, nah! You're half a century. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much. I thought I was gonna, just going to sleek into the house and nobody would notice. No, uh, I don't remember a surprise birthday party. Maybe, but too old to remember now. I know. I think I, I think I was just going through the same thing, though, Mr. Turtle. Oh, I know. Who? Do Henriksen. That's it. Oh, that's from Wild Willie. Hey, come on, mouse. Never mind acting up. When I click somebody, you gotta put them on a the screen. Oh, <sighs> I know, I'm getting all upset over here. Years ago, I raised Patterdale Terriers as hunting dogs. I sold a put 
to a Canadian. Oh, I sold a pup to a Canadian who said it was to be continued next week. Tune in to Green Man Buck 2 for the exciting conclusion of what happened to the pup. And now, carrying on from last week's show, he said it was a beauty fierce dog. A beauty fierce dog. Oh, yes, my 50th, my mom, 13 years old daughter. <coughs> My, my mom and 13-year-old daughter put it together out of town. Oh, cute. Oh, good to have grandma and your daughter uh, conspiring, huh? I know. That's not the first thing they got together and you were the subject of, I'm guessing. I never had a surprise birthday party. Yeah, I don't think I ever had two. I have helped surprise people, but I don't let anyone know my birthday, so... It would be a real surprise. Oh, the last surprise birthday you had her was when your mom gave birth to you, eh, Shakalaka? Happy birthday to you. Happy, oh yeah, sorry. I did that, you know, when, uh, um, uh, when, when, you know, you know, Hoku Ho, uh, Don Ho's daughter, she was, uh, I guess one of her songs was featured in Mean Girls, but when Patty gave birth to her, uh, I went to the uh, hospital and sang happy birthday. <laughs> oh, it was crazy back then. <clears throat> it was early in the morning. I hadn't been to sleep yet. Anyway, uh, no, but I helped throw other people's surprise birthday parties. So I know. Okay. I love spending two hours every day with people who are my dad's age and older. It is very educational, and I learn a lot of wisdom, and it's fun. Oh, well, thank you so much, uh, Soda. Appreciate it. Yeah? And I think I'm older than your dad. Oh, I think you said that right. Oh, dad, my dad's age and older. Yeah? I think I'm in the end older side. Yeah, it's you know, it's weird. When I was uh, when I was your age, I hung out with older people too. And I, it's only because I worked, you know, I was a dishwasher at a restaurant, and everybody else was older. And you know, when you're your age, 15, you know, 15, which is that's when I was on my own. Um, I, um, you know, everybody they were in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and a few f people in their 50s. And yeah, it's another world. Yeah. Andy, I was I was kind of young then, so I really don't remember. I know. Oh, my 50th birthday surprise party. I had a corporate event booked at a fancy hotel in San Francisco for months. Showed up to DJ and instead of a surprise from the family and friends, went on throughout the night and into the next morning. Ooh, those were the days, I brought out when you could do that, huh? I know, good fun. Now you think about it. Oh, you know, like like uh, when I see the kids graduating and they got to drive around and honk their horn and everybody got a mask on. Oh, remember when we used to? Uh, <clears throat> we never care about respiratory droplets. You remember those days? I know. I can't, I can't wait for that to be the name of a band one day. Ladies and gentlemen, the respiratory droplets. I have thrown one, but never had one thrown for me. Hint, hint. Is that what it is? Hey, honk. Uh, what a hey, honk. I am 15 as well. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, you and Soda can get along here. Yeah, you learn a lot from older people, and they have the best stories. Yeah. <laughs> a completely different perspective you know uh yeah <laughs> yeah well but look look we get somebody here your own age here look 50 i'm 15 as well right there hey hawaiian sweetie mahalo for the 50 biddies thank you so much putting ducats in the bucket i know i remember when i uh, worked for don ho you know i uh, he used to do this thing where he'd have me cruise around the show uh, the the audience and in uh, interview people right and one night i said hey how many people celebrating an anniversary and he says only only andy andy only talk to the people they get 50 years or more. If not, you're going to be here all night. 
<laughs> Can you imagine that you're in a room full of people, right? And you're okay. Who's who's celebrating a uh, you know uh, an anniversary? Fifty or more years. Half the audience would raise their hand. I know his crowd was well, man. That reminds me of the first time I uh, opened for Tom Jones, right? And then you look out in the audience, and all you see is the reflection like this. Let me try to do it. You, you see the reflection like this of people's glasses, you know, because of the lights on the stage. You just see a whole audience in a reflection. It, it, at first, you're like, "Wow, what is this?" I know. Ooh, tube dude four. Hey, thank you for that tier one sub. Hey, honk score, huh? Tube dude four, mahalo for taking care of honk 33x. I don't know what the significance is of the 33x, but I'm sure it has some personal meaning for honk. Yeah, so now we get honk, we get soda. I know, if Tegan was here, then we have, you know, all the 14 and 15 year olds. And then, uh, you know, Keola P, he's still down there. 10, 11, he'll, he gotta be 11 here soon. Huh? 15 was a good year, was driving, had a car, had one job during the summer at the airport. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 15. <laughs> it was a monumental year in my life, I promise you that. Oh, let's see. Okay, how we doing on the, uh, has anyone ever thrown you a surprise birthday party? 44% of the people, yes. 56% of the people, oh, nobody will send me one birthday party. Oh, I know, not surprise anyway. I know, you like be surprised, huh? I know. <clears throat> oh, oh, <laughs> listen, it's also fun listening to older people's stories when they were around my age, the crazy stuff they did. Yeah, like find an apartment and get a job. <laughs> oh, that's what I was doing when I was your age. Uh, but it was a different time, and I'm sure you're, uh, you know, I came from a big family too, but we got to a certain age. My dad said, out, you're on your own. Dad, I'm still in high school. Ah, you don't need book learning. <laughs> what? Oh, Danny, what does your shirt say? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it says Harley Davidson. Yeah, this is a this is a thick kind of sweatshirt um, that it, it was cold here. So this says uh, I don't know if you can you can read it good. Harley Davidson. Yeah, I have a bunch of Harley shirts and a bunch of Indian shirts. I had both for a while, so you know, it's funny too, man. You go riding and you ride an Indian and you got a Harley Davidson shirt. Hey, what's with the shirt? Bro, it's a shirt, not a tattoo. You know, and people do that, you know. Hey, okay, let's see. There's the end of the poll. No, 44, 54%. Uh, yes, 46%. Okay. Surprise birthday parties. There we go. Oh, Andy, it is the Twitch effect. More and more young bloods in the uh, Hamajang uh, gang. Yeah, well, you know, Twitch has a lot of young people that that watch the, uh, I mean, that are on the platform because of gaming and stuff. You know, I'm guessing when they show up, you know, for for this, you know, us talking like this, that they bounce because you know, I, I look at my statistics. We get a, like a hundred and, uh, you know, hundred and twenty um, unique viewers, but they just go, "What's this?" Nah, and they bounce out. Rarely does anybody stay. That's why I'm thinking about doing more music and talking less uh, in new iterations coming up in the future. We'll see. I don't know. I always thought out of that. Yeah, my mom used to ride, so I know a bit. Well, yeah, your mom used to ride, huh? What, did she have her own bike or did she, you know, do the pack thing? Because two very different things. <laughs> I know. Ah. Don't don't they say SC? What is that? SCU. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. All right, gang. So uh, there was the poll. What do you say we take a little cruise? Um, I know it's not Thursday, but I like this song. Let's play it. You 
Wasn't supposed to go this way when I met you yesterday. I didn't need you next to me. Am I the kind that you expected me to be? It's getting a little warm. Crack the window, please. I'll pump the gas if you run inside. Grab a couple tall boys and a honey pie. And yesterday is far away, and tomorrow you'll be gone. It wasn't supposed. To go this way, sweet, 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 sweet Thursday. No, OG wasn't. It was one of my, you know, um, B-roll things. <laughs> Ten million people, and maybe more, out on the highway in a dusty storm. Two lonesome losers in a stolen dream. Heading straight for nowhere in a suicide machine. If you see the lights flashing, push the pedal down. Over the border, they can get us there. Between the two of us, we'll make it if we share. Yesterday is far away, and tomorrow you'll be gone. It wasn't supposed to go this way. Sweet, 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 sweet Thursday. that but here Kenny I had a surprise birthday party thrown for me and the hardest part was ha was worrying about where my girlfriend was going every evening after work without me huh almost broke up then I got to the party and I felt bad all my friends were there and my girlfriend was there with a lay for me oh oh look at this hey kuoloha Kona is warming up it is now 66 degrees. I know it's kind of cold this morning. Yeah, it must be uh, cloudy because still dark outside. Ah, I know. I don't know what. And I like you finished the sentence. Eh, and the bumata, you're. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> Uh, I enjoy hearing you talk and watching the little films. Uh, it is a nice way to start my day as it is morning uh, when you stream here. Here when you stream. Where's here, Honk? Where, where you at? Where are you from? Are you on the West Coast? Must be still morning there because what, what time is it there now? Maybe 8 o'clock, something like that? If you're on the West Coast. Yeah. You want to talk cold? Don't start soda. We know you're in Canada, and cold has a whole nother meaning. Yeah, it's not cold unless you can throw water up into the air and have it freeze before it hits the ground. Oh, I know everybody is waiting with bated breath. <gasps> Finish the sentence. Oh, I know. Oh, you're in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. My daughter spent a year in New Zealand um, um, studying the... Um, relationship between the Hawaiians 
and uh, the people from New Zealand. I know, and now she's a big, um, uh, what is this, the um, all black uh, fan? <laughs> is that the, uh, the football team you guys have? I wanna say all black. <sighs> Hard the memory in all days. Ooh, Ooh my yard is whiter than me right now. <laughs> it looks like uh, Narnia. I don't know what that is. Oh, hey, what? Time for a shaka haka. Oh, yeah, maybe we should throw out the shaka haka for honk. Okay, hey, good idea. Hey, shaka haka for honk. Here we go. Come on! Hey! Wait, wait, Suggestion, mahalo for that, shakalaka. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do the next poll, gang. And, and it is, were you ever fired from your job and happy about it? Okay, let's start to the fall. <laughs> Did you ever get fired and were actually relieved and happy about it? Okay, <clears throat> yes or no, and we would love to hear the details. Oh, <laughs> uh, Shark, yeah, I like that one. It has my name in, sort of. Oh, yeah, boom, shakalaka, right there. Oh, cool, oh, I love it. Yeah, that was for Honk, since he is coming to us all the way from New Zealand. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, hey, Soda, I get your uh, Narnia reference. <laughs> Same here in Wisconsin. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, uh, I was fired but mad. No, no, that does not count, Soda. We're talking about, I don't think I've ever been fired. <sighs> was I ever fired? I, I've, I, well, you know, I've had very few jobs where I had a boss because at a very early age, I mean, from when I was 24, I made a, I made a commitment to stand-up comedy, and from then on, I was my own boss. I mean, you know, there were people who said, hey, I'll cancel this gig. I'm going, yeah, fine, you know. <laughs> but it wasn't like I had a job, you know. Uh, Hello, Andy, I'm late today. What, Darlene? I had to go grocery shopping, and I'm unpacking. Oh, I know that one. Yeah, well, good. I hope you stayed safe. Why isn't the mark? I actually went to the grocery store the other day, Darlene, and I forgot my mask, and I, I parked far away and I had to walk all the way over there, get the mask, come back. And when I walked up, the goes, oh, no, a non-masker. You could just see her body language. And I walked up, and I went, oh, sorry. And I, she went, I won't be on YouTube. <laughs> I know. I usually went quit, but I was glad to get out of the first job where I was fired. I told my boss I did. He didn't pay me enough to treat me like that. Amen. That's how. I told you that story about when I was a dishwasher. I guess I was, you know, honk and soda's age. And um, I was, and the boss came in from the restaurant. This is at the fog cutter in Waianae and was trying to tell me how to wash dishes. And I said, don't you think I would do it the easiest and most efficient way? And he goes, hey, I'm the boss. You do what I say. I went, oh, really? Well, I tell you what, I quit. Now you're the dishwasher. <laughs> A boss. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I know, I went, it was so hard to find good dishwashers, and I was a good one. I just got fired from my job at the bakery, which is upsetting because I really needed the dough. <laughs> wow. 
wow, I don't know what database you drive from, but man, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty quick. I got fired uh, from the M&M factory. I started throwing out all the W's. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, so far, 59% of the people, oh, hey, 7 o'clock. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the, the writing gets lighter at 7. It's dark, you know, because they figure it's dark, and then 7 it came, bing, the letters get brighter. Okay. So 59% of people have never been fired for a job they were happy about getting fired from. And 41%, well, still yes. Okay, yes, my last job, graphic designer for a local newspaper before going full-time for myself, hated it, was so relieved. Oh, they did you a big favor, yeah? You are fired! <gasps> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Where do I send the card? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> did it, uh, sending much aloha, uh, uh, aroha, <laughs> aroha to uh, you, you lovely lot. Oh, so welcoming. Yes, honk. Thank you for being here, you know. I don't know why honk. I, I see your avatar there. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing, I don't know if you're male or female, so if that's important to you, you can mention it. If not, no need. Hey, yes. Oh, yeah, I already did that one. Sorry. I was on probation once, but it got removed for I proved I was correct. Then in HR, the manager got into trouble for hassling me. That really made me feel good. Justice. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, Anne's going to define something. Narnia is a fictional alternate word in the great series of kids' book by C.S. Lewis. Uh, at first, the world was in internal winter. Oh, I get it. Ooh, Tina Rose, you on a roll. That's right. Oh, nope. Yeah, I know, because <laughs> you never had a boss. You got to have a boss to get fired, you know, Kenny. Because, like, if, if, if we have a gig and we get fired, it's not the same, right? <laughs> Maybe it is. I, you know, I just, right after I said that, I went, because I've had, like, when I worked at the Outrigger, I wasn't fired, but I was there for three months, and at point, some point they went, hey, you know what, um, we're, you know, the, uh, it, this configuration is over so but that's not like getting fired i guess when i was 30 i gave a two-week notice because i got a better job they fired me after a week because i guess they didn't want the big smile on my face <laughs> that's all rick ass no shame i just got fired from the orange juice factory they said i could not concentrate <laughs> Oh, Tina, poor thing. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, it's wonderful. And yes, it's wonderful fiction. I'm not much of a fiction reader, you know. I, it's terrible. I, I, I can't let go, you know. It's like, you know, people, you know, when I read fiction, I always imagine the author in their underwear with a cigarette hanging out of their mouth late at night, you know, and a bottle of tequila. And then they walked to the forest and with anticipation picked up a rock. <clears throat> and under the rock, they found what would change their life forever. Ah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then the rock turned out to, you know, <laughs> oh, terrible. Uh, maybe it's because I'm, when I write, you know, I'm in my underwear drinking tequila and smoking cigarettes. Wait a minute. Th that isn't me. Oh, see, I am a fiction writer. Oh, at worst... Though at worst job ever, the guys who were so bad did not survive the purchase of the company by another business. 
my letter to HR was probably only one of many about those two. But for that one, I did quit, and I didn't give them two weeks. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh. The CEO of Pepsi was fired today. They found traces of Coke in his system. <gasps> Pop joke. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are on it today. I like that. They found traces of Coke in his system. Oh, soda, yes. As a kid, I didn't understand the religious references. Mm, there you go. Oh, many of those. There, there was something else that... Um, the, the, you know, people don't... I mean, it, it sounds silly, but the 12 days of Christmas, there was like strong religious references in there. Now, I know it's a Christmas song, and Christmas is essentially a religious holiday, but, you know, the uh, Lord's a leaping and all that stuff was all um, all had to do with different uh, religious references. They sneak them in, those bagas. I know, they like, you know. My favorite is, um, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. You know that one? That was about burning witches. When I heard that, I went, what? Yeah. Ashes, ashes, they all fall down. Oh. That's a kid's song? Oh. <clears throat> In other words, you don't write. No. Well, I wrote comedy, you know, but that's not like, you know, <laughs> something somebody would sit down and read. I, and not only that, I don't read, I don't read fiction. I, I, for that reason, I mean, I was exaggerating there a little bit, but... And sometimes it's hard for me to watch movies because I'm like, oh, look, a dolly shot. How weird that they would do a rack focus in that. And were they trying to, you know, oh, look at the background, you know, that kind of stuff. I have to <sighs> and really let go. Interesting about the 12 days tune. Yes. Do research on it. And, um, you know, when you, and when you, you know, like a partridge and a pear tree meant, you know, whatever it was, you know, so they kept going back to it. I know. Christmas was originally a pagan holiday, so that would, it was easier to transfer pagans to Christian. Yeah, well, whatever. We don't do religion here, honk, and for reasons that, uh, you know, <laughs> like what you just said might spark a what? Man, I remember one time I got, I mean, talk about sparks. I got into this argument uh, in high school. Okay, um, poll is done. 60% of the people, hold on, I gotta do it correctly, okay? 60% of the people um, have never been fired, have, uh, have never been fired and happy about it. Only 40% have. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Yeah, but um, I remember oh, in school or something, there was a discussion about um, uh, humans evolving from apes, right? And I was going, oh yeah, you know, and a lot of the DNA stuff. We were just kind of, and I just went, yeah, I, I can kind of see that. This guy got so mad at me, bro. Never come from one monkey. But, hey, lighten up, bro. I'm just saying it's a theory that. But so what you seeing? I'm one monkey. Hey. Bro, dial it down, bro. I mean, pump your brakes, bro. I mean, it's just a theory that maybe this guy was, and it wasn't about religion or evolution or anything, but just the idea that he might have evolved his, you know, from a monkey. Oh, I went, wow. Comedy is fiction unless it's real. Yeah, the the difference, Rick, and you know, uh, and again, you're you're talking to a recovering comedian. Comedy has got to be steeped in truth, okay? It, it, it's, you know, it, it, there can't be, it can't be just, you know, out of whole cloth fantasy. I mean, I guess it's possible, but, you know, real comedy, it's like, I used to do this joke about, they said, you know, they're, they're going, yeah, you know, you're, you're perpetuating stereotypes when you make ethnic references. I had this discussion on stage with somebody one time. And I said, listen, you know, if I say, you know, they tease Filipinos about eating dogs because, well, they do, right? That's funny because 
Filipinos eat dogs. I mean, everybody can, no, whatever. I mean, you can make, you know, uh, all the jokes you want about, you know, Popolo professional surfers, right? But there are so few that it, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the same impact, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, so you can't, you can't create a stereotype. And, and that's true with all forms of comedy. Anyway, no quote me, I might be wrong, I know. Oh, dad joke. Oh, son asked me which was closer, Hawaii or the moon. So I asked him, can you see Hawaii from here? <laughs> oh man, kids' stories used to be really more terrifying than they are. The modern fairy tales have been, uh, what? Boulderized. Boulder was a guy who changed the stories so children wouldn't be traumatized for life. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, you know. To this day, I think clowns are scary, you know. It's just like creepy and scary. I, I've never seen a clown that I didn't go, you know, oh, what's up with that guy, you know, or gal in, in that case. Ah, oh. uh, okay. No, oh, I no, no. You don't have to apologize. I just, you know, it's just as moderator of the chat uh, group here. It's my job to just, you know, any tiny little spark that might go foompa, I, I, I do my best to quell. Okay, so no, no, no. Don't, don't feel bad. You know. Ah. Uh. Oh, let's see. A bad comedian relies on profanity and swearing to get a laugh. A real, a real comedian can make people laugh without that. Well, you know, that's the, yeah. And it's, it's harder. You know, I remember when I've been in, when I was in Booga Booga, there was this one thing and it says, oh, that's one effing big hole. And I would leave out the, the, the F bomb and it didn't get a laugh. And they told me, hey, you know, bro, you got to put in the F because if not, people are not going to laugh. And I said, well, then let's write a new joke because it's not funny, you know. I mean, there's the shock factor of it, I guess. It's true. Clowns are scary. And, and really not even scary. I think it's, to me, they're more creepy. You know, there's something creepy about them. Oh, I know. And, you know, a lot of kids like them, and I'm glad they can have fun, but... <clears throat> I am not one of them. Okay, where are we at here? Oh, <laughs> I forget what I'm doing. Let's go to Portlock and think about it, okay? Which uh, begs the question, are you a man or a mouse? makes me weak That's what makes me doubt what I speak It makes me doubt who I am Am I a man? The mouse he beats me with ease At being just what he He doesn't doubt what he is He is a mouse And he's far more a mouse Than I am a man
of a man As a mouse is a mouse It's funny, that song. Um, I, I just, you know, you talk about writing. Imagine you're trying to write a song, and I know a lot of people here do that, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that always amazes me, you know, sitting down with a piece of paper, waiting for an inspiration, and, you know, then you come up with, uh, a mouse will always be more of a mouse than I am a man. Oh, what? I know, China Walls, Port Lock. I surfed there back in the 80s. Yep, China Walls, that was a good spot, I know. Uh, Disney classics almost always has a, has a death scene. My nephew was watching Bambi and started screaming and he was scared. Oh man, are you kidding? I know. Come with me, Bambi. Your mother is now a meal. <laughs> I know, a lot of that stuff. Oof. I know. Well, you know, I mean, uh, you know, Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf ate the grandmother. Oh, what big eyes you have. Oh, it's because I ate your tutu. And, oh, she was kind of ono, but oh, a little bit salty. But, you know, small can show you. Not a problem, Max Sally. But, <clears throat> anyway, oh, I mean, uh, well, the better to see you eat. I know. <laughs> Channeling <laughs> Kent Bowman, remember that? And, oh, and, Tutu, what big maca you get? Oh, the better for see you eat. Come more close. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I know. <sighs> anyway, Bambi is a horror film, <laughs> and you cannot change my mind. Uh, I know. <laughs> Brutal. So anyway, uh, on the last poll of this morning's show is, have you ever bought anything advertised on an infomercial? Okay? Have you ever bought anything advertised on an infomercial? You know what I'm talking about, late night television, or maybe even on the internet, and those ads come up, the new slap chopper. That's right, you put in a cucumber in, two slaps, and that bugger is uh, all caught up for you. I know. Bugs Bunny, Little Red Riding Rabbit, uh, was the funniest take on Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll bet you it was. Uh, I, you know, I, I probably saw it. I, I don't really recall, but man, I know. I remember George Carlin, he had this one bit. He says, you know, the, you, they say certain things aren't funny, like rape. You can't write a joke about rape. And he says, oh, yeah? How about this? Imagine Elmer Fudd raping Donald Duck. <laughs> like, what? I know. <sighs> Ah, oh, thanks. Always learn something new with you, shakalaka. Oh, yes, Anne. I know. Oh, I misidentified the new collection. There was, uh, but was correct about the time as, it was about the same time as Grimm, and they were not published at the time. Oh. Oh, hey, how's it test, Tomashiro? Oh, how are you? That's from Architect right there. Oh. I know. Well, Grimm. What? What? what uh, was it the Adams family when uh, Morticia was? And now we'd like to read you a fairy tale. Grimm. What a lovely name. <laughs> I never forget that. Uh, and I saw it in, in, in its original broadcast. <gasps> 
black and white. More spooky, I know. Yeah, I was going to clean a deer and ask my daughter to help so I can teach her. She started crying and screamed, I can't kill Bambi. <laughs> I just hear the voice. I know. Oh, made him wait. Hold on. Oh, oh, I cannot kill Bambi. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Oh, man. Infomercial. Yes, Japanese China. And it was excellent 40 years ago and still using it. Really? Oh, there we go. Um, I was, I was, uh, I loved Adam's family, but Fester um, traumatized me. But what a great name, Uncle Fester. <laughs> Imagine how much fun they had coming up with a name for those characters. Uncle Fester. How about the thing? Uh, I know. Oh, yeah, there was, man. Oh, <clears throat> Aloha, Manny, during a job interview. Hiring manager tells Manny, uh, we would like to start you at $8 an hour starting today, and in three months we'll raise it to $10 an hour. So when would you like to start? Manny replied, uh, how about in three months? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Architect, soda, I know, right? Oh, you guys. Oh, what you said about Bambi, I know. Sad Bambi. Oh. oh, Bambi jerky tastes. Oh, no, I know, Bambi jerky. Yeah, what? Ted Nugent, you can't grill it unless you kill it. <laughs> oh, Ted. Oh, Oh, yeah, shakalaka. Yes, Lono said Bambi was Ono. <laughs> I know, but Bambi. Oh. How about, uh, how about uh, you know, um, Lion King? Imagine some poor kid running around Africa sees a lion. Oh, yeah, little morning and walks toward the lion. <laughs> hey, you! Bambi tamales. Oh, that's too funny. I wonder if anybody would have the guts to name a... Uh, an eating joint, Bambi Tacos. <laughs> I was 11 when I had a Bambi streak. I was in Maine where my dad was from. My auntie turned me on to that. Loved it. Yes. So cool. Oh, I'll be seeing some dolphins. Hey, you baga. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh. Also, buffalo uh, is delicious. Yes. Ah, <laughs> hot shot for what? Hot shot first. Oh, Bambi Burgers. Oh, that's even a better name. Hey, <clears> hi <throat> there. Welcome to Bambi Burgers. <laughs> I was gonna try to be funny, but I just decided to enjoy and laugh at the idea. I'm seeing the, you know, the little drive-in and a standalone, standalone building, you know, with a parking lot around it, you know, and that. Big, big picture of Bambi and Bambi burgers. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> From the Bambi Club. What? Uh, hey, I have an idea for a raid. Yeah, Tina Rose Cager, you can't, uh, you have to kind of disguise the URL. <clears throat> so maybe just put the name, um, you know. So right now, um, um, on my, the people I follow, we have I Am Richard. He just got on, um, he's got nine people right now. You know, I Am Richard, he, you know, he does that real cool, uh, mellow, low voice kind of guitar covers and he whistles real well. Yeah, oh, he just jumped to 16. He's gonna go, he's been going crazy lately. He's been getting to 100, like no problem. We can raid him or, uh, uh, unless someone has a, uh, a suggestion of who we can read, okay? Elk Sloppy Joes are amazing. Yum, elk. I, I, seem, I seem to remember elk being illegal to eat. Or maybe it's, where, where did I hear that? 
uh, that movie where, where in the wild where that kid that idiot went and lived in that bus to discover himself or something i don't know everybody idolizes that kid i keep thinking what an idiot you know and he died because he couldn't cross that river <laughs> every wine went ah. oh what a good but just go more up <laughs> then when you swim, as you swim, you know, you, then, then, I know. I would have made it across Garen Barbarians. Oh, <clears throat> Bambi Burger Joint. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, I like Bambi Burgers. Get them while they're hot. I am Richard. Sounds good to me. Darlene. Yeah. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got 16 now. So after this, uh, we do we do our we we can do our song and then we go see him. We'll see. We yeah, which and the timing will be right, right. And right now he uh, he has 16 people watching his uh, his channel. Gotta run, gang. Have a goof day. Okay, girl. Aloha, bra. Spakanize you later. I know. Pokoli tea. Yeah, hard to agree. Rudolph can get in my belly anytime. <laughs> That's funny. I see this. I see this picture soda of you sitting around a table, oh, like this, you know, and then the, you know, like that 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 little red nose on the side of your plate, <laughs> right? And you're like, oh, whoo. Hey, what you was eating, huh? Never mind. And then you take the napkin, put it over the glowing red nose. What? Hmm? <laughs> oh. Uh, we have elk up country, uh, Ulupalakua. Really? Get elk on Ulupalakua. Ulupalakua. Hard to say that name without hearing the song, yeah? Hey, uh, they have elk. Nah. Wow. <laughs> I love when you do that. Oh, you just laugh. I know. Bambi Burgers. Come on, brother. Come on. Hey, let's do a GoFundMe, Kenny. You and me. We'll go half half on Bambi burgers. Get them while they're hot. Ready? <laughs> right. And we'll have Tina Rose come up with our slogan. Oh, I have a great have a great day, everyone. I got a, I got up super late and have to bounce. Okay. See you Friday. What is that? Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta go. Oh, it's Tuesday. Wow. You have a busy week planned, architect. Proud of you. Go get them, gang. I know. Hard for fine work and brother is busy. Oh man, I know. Shoots, okay, we in, huh? Kenny, you and me, we go, yeah. It's the best way to ruin a friendship, going to business together. Yeah, what do you mean? But <clears throat> no camping. <laughs> That's all I ask, bro. <laughs> ah. oh, attack 85. That's from Kuo Aloha right there, bye. Okay, the police pow. Oh, thank you, big squirrel nuts. Uh, 68%. Yes, they have bought something. Um, oh, I apologize. I'm in see you Thursday. Okay. Well, I no need to apologize to me. A partner is a sinking sh A partnership is a sinking ship. Oh, I know. I have done it. Oh, man. I know. And it's, you know, it's funny when you, when, I don't know if you've ever gone into business with friends when you're struggling and everybody's, you know, that's when it's fun. But take a million dollars, put it on the table and tell everybody, okay, take what you think you deserve. <laughs> End of friendships right there. Okay, gang, we're going to play the, uh, the Lono song and then it looks like we're, we're going to raid uh, I Am Richard. Okay? So uh, let's play the... Heavy on Hawaiian style, and I'm going to click me some avatars. Pro tip, the more you write, the bigger your avatar. Here we go. It's an inside joke between Kenny and I.
Ka Alba CD. We got the music covered already. Okay, let's sing by the kitchen. That's right, the kitchen. I play lunch. Head out the whole little bit. West side. Archie and the boys out there. They're heavy on Hawaiian style. Oh, yeah. Catch some waves. Go home. Enjoy that day, butter. Okay, there you go, gang. Looks like we're going to... Oh, wow, Richard is up to 40 people right now. I am Richard. Okay, we're going to raid I am Richard. Oh, R-A-I-D. I am R-I-C-H-A-R-D. I rating I am Richard. Oh, wow, look at that. I got off the... I got a... Oh, a boot, baby. I know. Always a little disappointed when they go... Mahalo for being here, gang. And again, on Twitch every morning, 6 a.m. That's Hawaii time back there. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube and Facebook. Simulcast, okay? So let's go check out I Am Richard. Okay, well, here we go. Boom. Okay, so, so far we got 19, 23, 27 going, 29 going, 30, 37, 37 people going. Ooh, he's going to love that. Here we go. Oop, 38. Aloha. Spock you tomorrow. See you on the Richard side. Aloha. <laughs>